Early AAA estimates an extra 2 million drivers will be traveling this weekend for the Thanksgiving holiday, which health leaders say is a major concern for the spread of COVID-19. Two News reporter Caroline Morris is live in the studio now with their message this holiday weekend. Caroline. Well, Riley, this holiday season is different than last year. Now, health leaders say the COVID-19 vaccines can make gatherings safer, but for those who aren't, traveling to indoor gatherings could pose several health risks to everyone. And so we were hoping that by Thanksgiving we would have a, a much lower numbers and by Christmas even lower. It doesn't look like we're going to, to get to that level. And so we expect a considerable amount of COVID activity throughout the next couple of months. Local and state health leaders warn cases and hospitalizations may be on the rise due to high volumes of holiday travels. According to ODH, southwestern Ohio's average case rate is 401 cases per 100,000, four times higher than the CDC's risk rate. So as we look forward to the coming holiday season, as well as cold and flu season, please, if you aren't yet vaccinated, choose to get the vaccine. Public health believes COVID fatigue may be contributing to high spread. They say residents are willing to let their guards down and feel normal this holiday weekend. However, public health says the chances of contracting COVID-19 is still too high to risk it. Number one, and probably the most important, is if you're sick, do not travel. If you have any doubts, if you have any type of symptoms, don't travel, stay home, and try to avoid people as much as possible. And according to the coronavirus dashboard, over 57% of eligible Ohioans have started the vaccination process. Live in studio, Caroline Morse, 2 News working for you.